Okay, good evening, people. Let's give a couple of minutes for the latecomers before taking the attendance. Okay. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay, people, I'm going to take the attendance. Just let me open the list.
Okay. Please respond when you hear your name, okay? Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Present. Okay. Alejandra Maria Lemus. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Ángel Isaac Cibrián. Present. Okay. Blanca Estela Lara. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado. Present. Okay. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa. Juan Carlos López. I hear, teacher. Okay. Catherine Joana Calzadilla. Present. Okay. Kenia Roxana Ayala. Luis Miguel Mejía. Present. Okay. María Delmi Hernández. I'm here. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde. Present teacher. Okay. Noé de Jesús Ambrosio. Sandra Lisset Elizondo. Cindy Carolina Cruz. Here. Okay. Úrsula Yamilet Cornejo. Right. Jensi Carolina Magaña. Okay, people. Well, Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Sandra Elizondo. Okay, let me check. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Okay. Mark. Thank you. No problem. Okay, yesterday we finished talking about these three postcards uh, about Margaret, Debbie, and Kevin. Just let me share the screen. Okay, remember we learned, we read the postcards and you had to complete, um, oh, you had to complete the sentences so you had to match the sentences with the postcards and then respond some questions about the, the postcard. I already gave you the, the sentence number one which is, uh, I who said this or, okay, um, I lost five pounds and feel terrific. Definitely that must be a uh, Debbie who was in Hawaii. Uh, the second one, uh, this was kind says this was kind of dangerous, but we got there safely. In what postcard you think this sentence goes? This one, Kevin, number three, 
Kevin. Number three, yes, Kevin. Yeah. Dangerous trip to Anchorage, definitely. Okay. And the last one, it's a tiny island about 2,300 miles west of Santiago, Chile. Number one. Yeah, number one. Okay. Now, let's respond to this question. Okay, uh, but I would like you to write your answer in the chat, just the name. Because these questions are about this, the three people, Debbie, Margaret, and Kevin. So the first question says, and write the number in the, the name in the chat, please. Which person learned a lot on vacation? Debbie, Margaret, or Kevin? Write in the For chat. For me, Margaret. Margaret. Are you listening to me? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because I want everyone to participate, but that's okay, no problem. Okay, Margaret. Everyone agrees that Margaret is the one who learned a lot? I agree. Okay, let's write it then. You said Margaret, let's write Margaret. Margaret learned a lot. Okay. Who had a vacation that was full of adventure? Okay, speak, no problem. I think it's Kevin. Kevin? Everyone agrees or disagree? Oh, or Debbie. Debbie, a lot of adventure? Debbie? Are you, are you sure? Margaret, of, for me, it's Kevin. Yeah, a lot of wildlife. Dangerous situations. Yes. Yeah. I would say Kevin has a lot of adventure. He camping outside for 10 days on the Arctic. Yeah. Yes. Kevin has a lot of adventure, definitely. Yeah. And of course, who had a very relaxing vacation? Mm. Hawaii, spa, Hawaii. yoga. Margaret. Margaret? It's not Margaret. No. Margaret. Debbie. 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 Debbie had a very relaxing, relaxing vacation. Okay. Okay, very good. The last question is personal, actually. Which vacation? And I would like you to write uh, the number of the postcard in the chat because we all may have different opinion. Which vacation sounds the most interesting to you? Write number one, number two, or number three in the chat, please. Write number one, number two, or number three in the chat. Which vacation sounds the most interesting to you? To me, the most interesting to me, even though I would love to go to Alaska, but I am not that young to camping uh, outside now. I don't like that anymore. When I was young, Yes, but now mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I prefer a nice place, a nice hotel or a nice apartment. So for me, the most interesting to me right now is Hawaii, number two for me. So I will write here two. That is to me. What about you? Which vacation sounds the most interesting to you right now? One, two, or three. Okay. Right. One, two, or three. <laughs> Juan Carlos says number two. That is Debbie. Okay. Debbie's vacation. Luis Miguel says number two. 
That is Davis. For Edgardo, number one. Okay, that is Margaret. To Easter Island. For Maria del Miss, number one. Okay. To Jensi, number two. Okay. Come on, people, right. Which vacation sounds more interesting to you? Catherine Joanna, camping on in Alaska. Okay, good. Keep writing, people. Keep writing. Which vacation sounds most interesting to you? One, two, or three. Alejandro says number two. Sandra says number three. Yeah, we we should have different opinions. Great. Me, the best option is number two. Yeah. Sounds very relaxing. Okay. Great. May may God let us enjoy a vacation like that day. Okay, people, let's move on to Unit 8. The topic is, what's your neighborhood like? Hmm. And we have this vocabulary or this word power regarding words and definitions. Words and definitions. Okay? Let's see. What are... Barbershop, what's a laundromat, what's a library, etc. Okay, and we have the definition it's a place where you wash and dry clothes, it's a place where you, uh, so and so. Okay, so, uh, let's I'll give you the number one what's a barbershop? Well. It's a place where you get a haircut. Continue with the rest, okay? Continue with the rest. I will send you to working group with this. And when you finish with the first part, with part A, I want you to continue with part B. You have to write definitions for these places. What's a clothing store? You have to write similar definition. It's a place where you, whatever, okay? What's a drug store? What's an internet cafe? What's a music store? What's a post office? Okay, so I'll send you to working groups to complete exercise A and exercise B. All right? Then we'll come back and we're going to check your work. Let's see. Okay. Go in the breakout rooms, please, and work on exercises A and B. I will send that to WhatsApp to help you with, with that.
Sorry, teacher. I left the group. Hello? Sorry, I left the group. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Maria, music store is a, it's a place where you buy music. It is and post office. Okay, let's see. Tell me. Let me get the pen. Chill. So a barber shop is a place where you get a haircut. Okay. Then what is a laundromat? Letter A. No, I wanna. Is is play where you wash and dry clothes? Yeah, it's a place where you okay. What's a library? It's a library. Borrow books. Borrow books. Speaking sentences. Uh huh. Borrow books. It's a play it's where, where you it's, borrow it's a play books. where you borrow, borrow books. Okay, yeah, it's a place where you borrow books. Good. What is a stationery store? It's a place, it's a place where, where you, 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 you buy car and paper. paper. Okay, yes. What is a travel agency? It's a place where you make reservations for a trip. Okay. Reservation. What is a grocery store? It's a place where you buy food. Okay. And finally, what is a theater? It's a place where you see a movie or play. Okay. Very good. Now, I hope you have time to write your definitions for these places. Okay. So please. Right in the chat, right in the chat. What is a drug? Right in the chat, please. What is a drug store? Right in the chat. I want to read your definitions of a drug store.
No, I don't want the translation, Catherine. Okay. I'm reading, I'm reading. It's a place where you buy medicine. It's a place where you can buy medicine. It's a place where you can buy some medicine. Yes, Catherine, what is a drugstore? Give me the definition. Jensi says it's a place where you medicine. Mm. Where you medicine? Drug or is a place where you buy drugs or medicine. Okay. No, right. but you, you gave me the translation in Spanish, Catherine, and I don't want that. I want a definition in English. That, that is the situation. You wrote it's a pharmacy. No, I, I want a definition in English. Plus, uh, as in the exercise. A place where you can buy medicine. Here you can buy medicine. It's a place where you can find and buy medicine. Okay. Okay. Very good. Ah, yeah, that's right. Catherine. Drugstore is a place where you go to buy medicine. Okay. Perfect. Now, what is an internet cafe? Write a definition. What is an internet cafe? It's a place where you chat in internet. Okay. It's a place where you can have internet access. Oh, nice. What? Yeah. What is an internet cafe? Place where you have access. You have access. Oh. To internet for information. It's a public place where you access to internet. It's a place where you can rent machines for your jobs. What machines? <laughs> It's a place where you can work in your laptop. Mm, okay. It's a place where you do homework. Well, I do homework in my table, on my table, but be more specific. You can buy a coffee cup and you have access to Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, that's a cafeteria, not an internet. Uh, we can print physical documents. Um, okay, yeah, you can do that. Is this a place you can spend online? Okay, uh, it's more than that. Where you can check your Facebook and drink coffee at the same time. <laughs> That's a cafeteria. That's the San Martin or yeah. Mr. Donut or... <laughs> Okay, I got it. Yeah, I'm I'm teasing you. <laughs> teasing you, okay. Okay. What is a music store? The next one. What is a music store? It's a place where you buy and hear music music this okay um then marvin says it's a place where you choose a music you want that's a radio too <laughs> oh that that's okay that's good uh, music store is a place where you can buy CD music. It's a place where you can buy uh, and listen to music. Where you can buy and hear CD music. Where you can listen and buy CDs. Where we can listen and download favorite music. Do you know any music store in El Salvador? Mm 
Mm, is there a music store in El Salvador? I think there is none. No? I know. Mm. Because... Ah, Luis Miguel says is in this store you can buy musical instruments. Ah, huh? that's music store is retail business. A retail business where you can buy some music records. Oh. Okay. okay, good. And finally, what is a post office? What is a post office? It's a place where you send postcards. Okay. It's a place where you send documents. It's a place where you can send letters or documents to other person. Okay. It is a place where we can send correspondence to other places inside and outside the country. Yeah. Oh, nice. The place where you can send national and international okay, correspondence. Oh, it sounds like you went to a dictionary. Okay. Post office is a place where you send letters, postcards, postcards or other documents. Okay. okay, very good. Nice answers, people. Perfect. Then uh, we have a conversation here, and I I already sent a conversation through WhatsApp and the uh, the audio as well. So let me read it for you first. Okay, I will read the conversation for you. This is a conversation between Jack and uh, Miss Mrs. Day. Jack and Mrs. Day. There's another another answer here. Post office says Ursula is a place where you can send some letters and parcels and send what? Parcels are sent. Oh, and parcels are Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. Yeah. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Hmm. Mrs. Day. Terrible Mrs. Day. One more time. Listen. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why do you think Mrs. Day recommend recommended a barber shop? Yeah. In, in For the hair. Haircut. Because For your hair. Long, long hair. My hair? Somebody said for your hair. Um, for my hair? Jack, no. Jack, for the um, yacht. Jack, Jack. Hair. Okay. ¿Cómo decimos por el... ¿Cómo dirían? Porque Jack tiene que hablar. Because, because, Jack, because Jack has, has, a, has a long a, hair. Has a long hair. Ah, because don't say ah, don't say hair. ah, because ah is only one hair. Don't say ah, because Jack has long hair. Has or has, has long okay. hair. ¿Y cómo dirías por el pelo largo de Jack? Jackson hair. Uh, mm. Jack. mm -hmm. For the longer hair, the el pelo largo de Jack. Yes. For Jack's long hair. For Jack's long hair. Remember the possessives. For Jack. ¿Cómo dirías por el pelo largo de él? For his long hair. For his long hair. Ah, for, for his, his long hair. For his, for his long, his long hair. hair. For his okay. long hair. For his long hair. Okay, very good. Okay, people, I will send you in to work in pairs to practice the conversation, okay? I will give you a few minutes to practice the conversation in pairs. You already have the conversation in WhatsApp. Let me see. I already sent the, the picture and the audio. So let me form the couples to practice. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, let me exchange this with this. Okay, I hope everyone gets into the breakout rooms because you are going to work in pairs. Don't leave anyone alone, please. Okay, there you have the invitations to join the breakout rooms, practice the conversation, the conversation. Go to the breakout room. Your classmates are waiting for you. Don't leave them alone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Join the breakout room. Go, 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 or I will move your classmate to another room.
Okay, I see Ursula and Elba. You are here and Andrea as well. So you can practice here. If you cannot go to the breakout rooms, I don't know, maybe because of the internet or whatever, practice here in the main session. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yo me acabo de conectar porque no, no tenía señal donde andaba. Pero ya voy a hacer. And Elba, where are you, Elba? Teacher, I don't feel I don't feel well. I am sick. Oh, um, okay. This this why I don't join the in the room because I I don't feel well. Okay, or well, maybe Andrea and Ursula can practice. Um, yes. teacher, um. Eh, también el entré tarde creo que no me puso en la la, la asistencia. Okay, I will check. Thank you. La 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 conversación que mandó al grupo teacher. Yes. Okay. Kenia, por Ursula. Elba. I am here. Well, I will have some issues with my internet connection. Hello. Hi, practice the Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, Kenya and Ursula. Uh, practice the competition with me. Hola, and play. Hello, go to practice. Okay, uh, who? Ursula or okay, um, uh, no, I like to start. Um, I'm I don't know if we don't want to participate. Okay, Ursula, um, you are Jack and me, Mr. Day. Okay. 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 Sorry. Excuse me. I'm you, neighbor Jack. I just moved him. Oh, yes. I'm looking for grocery store. Are there 
any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Street. Oh, good. Is there a loud on your here? Well, I think there's on across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, uh, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A shop. Okay. Uh, and now you are Mr. Day and me are Jack. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some um, fine Oh, cool. And is there a laundromat near here? We think there's a cross shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barbie shop in the shopping center. A barber shop? Okay. Thank you, Ursula, for practice today. Okay, thank you. I remember if no reclamation. Um, I am sitting. What? I don't know if it's someone wants to participate, wants to practice this conversation. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, la, la otra imagen que dice match the words and the definition eso yes, me. Ah, la, te, te preguntaba si era la otra pregunta que si debíamos de unir las definiciones de las la palabras No, no te escuché, sorry. Si es la misma actividad que nos ¿O cuál? Sí, la, la otra que mandar el grupo. Okay, people, I like, we have time to hear maybe one or two couples. Let's see, Carlos and Marvin, can you present the conversation, please? 
Okay. Carlos, you are Jack, and Marvin, you are Mrs. Day. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I am your new neighbor. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, they are some on Pin Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one around the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there are a barber shop and the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. Very good. Thank you. What about Catherine and Juan Carlos? Catherine, uh, well, Juan Carlos is Jack and Catherine misses Day. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moving in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat, laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, very good. Uh, what about Maria Delmi and Edgardo? Maria Delmi is Mrs. Day and Edgardo is Jack. Okay. 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 Edgardo? Okay. Excuse me, I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there's a, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shop, shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center. Shopping center, center two. A barber shop. Okay, very good. What about Luis Miguel and Alejandra? Luis Miguel, you're Jack, and Alejandra, you're Mrs. Day. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there are barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> Okay, people, where well, it is 10.01, we're going to stop here. Tomorrow we will continue with this topic, okay? Have a good night, people, and see you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Good night. See good you tomorrow. Night, good night, good night everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.